my today's topic is narcotic and non non narcotic analgesics which is in medicinal chemistry first b form fourth sam second year and subject code is 402 in unit 5 so analgesic an analgesic or painkiller is in any member of the group of drugs to achieve analgesia analgesia means a relief from pain major classes of analgesic drugs include opioids nsids acetaminophen ziconotide nsids are non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs narcotic analgesic and opioids narcotic analgesic are drugs that relieve pain by bonding to opioid receptors which are present in the central and peripheral nervous system it may, it may it can cause numbness and induce state of consciousness in narcotics unconsciousness and numbness state will be induced through opioid receptors it may be classified into following compounds that is first natural compound in natural compound we have morphine codeine and papaverin in semi synthetic compound diacet diacetyl morphine that is heroin benzyl morphine ethyl morphine next is synthetic derivatives in synthetic derivative we have methadone tramadol and propoxyphen loperamide and opiate that does not enter the brain therefore it lacks analgesic activity that is it lacks the activity that is uh, provide relief from pain mechanism of action all apoid receptors are g protein coupled receptors and inhibit adenylate cyclase they are also involved in the po uh, post synaptic hyperpolarization which is increasing the k plus efflux that is potassium efflux or reducing presynaptic calcium 2 plus influx opioid receptors all opioid receptors are linked through g proteins to inhibition of adenate cyclase they also facilitate the opening of potassium channels uh, this is because of uh, causing hyperpolarization and uh, the term hyperpolarization means a change in the cell a change in the cell membranes uh, potential that uh, makes it more negative and uh, it may be generally caused by the efflux of uh, potassium through channel or it may be also uh, caused by calcium through calcium channel and inhibit opening of calcium channels by inhibiting the transmitter release they are of four types alpha receptor beta receptor gamma receptor and k receptors that is potassium receptors alpha receptors are thought to be responsible for most of the analgesic effects of opioids and for some unwanted effects most of the analgesic opioids are alpha receptor agonist mu receptors are two type that is mu receptor 1 or mu receptor 2 they are generally located outside the spinal cord that is m1 receptor is located outside the spinal cord m2 receptors is uh, located throughout the cns that is central nervous system mu receptor is responsible for central interpretation of pain and m2 receptors are responsible for respiratory depression spinal analgesia physical dependence and euphoria potassium re receptors that is k receptors it contribute to the analgesia at the spinal level it may contribute to spinal level that is in a spinal cord and may elect the sedation and dysphoria but produce relatively few unwanted effect and do not contribute the to dependence uh, beta receptors are probably more important in the periphery and may also contribute to analgesia well in in this case uh, analgesia the receptors are produced or may contribute to analgesia it may provide uh, relief from the pain sigma receptors are not to or not true opioid receptors and it is unclear that what delta actually responsible for what but that may be regulated through mu receptors activity it may be regulated through mu receptor whether it is mu receptor 1 or mu receptor 2 agonist and antagonist opiates 
were not only in the in their receptor specificity but also in their efficacy opiates may generally uh, also increases the efficacy efficacy of the drug for different types of receptor through different types through or different sites or maybe we can also call as different types of receptor thus some agents act as antagonist on one type of receptors and antagonist or partial agonist at other producing very complicated pharmacological picture pure agonist this group uh, include most of the typical morphine like drug they all have a high affinity for alpha receptors and generally lower the affinity of beta receptor and their site pure agonist actually uh, are the drug like morphine codeine heroin they may increase uh, they may increase the affinity from the alpha receptor and generally lower the increase uh, lower the uh, lower the affinity through beta receptor and its sites also some drug of this types may be uh, codeine methadone etc are more common and it may be sometimes referred to as weak agonist because their maximal effects the codeine and methadone and the drug like them are shows minimum or sometimes maximal effect for both analgesic and unwanted are less than those of morphine and they not cause dependence this drug may sometimes shows less effect than that of morphine so pure agonist drug include morphine heroin methadone and codeine we can also say that these drugs like morphine heroin methadone and codeine are the drug which are pure in agonist and they shows more effect and produce analgesia which may sometimes also unwanted or less than those of other drugs morphine uh, morphine is the major class of analgesic drug contained in crude opium and it is a prototype strong agonist morphine is uh, basically saturated from a crude drug that is called opium and its name is opium poppy morphine may be given by injection through intravenous or intramuscular or by mouth uh, often as slow release tablets it is met metabolized to 6 to morphine six glucuronide which is more potent as an anal analgesic action of uh, morphine is it may produce analgesia euphoria sedation new nausea and vomiting respiratory depression re uh, suppression of cups of cough is the most action of morphine we can found uh, the dis the disadvantage of th this morphine is uh, drug of addiction due to euphoric effect uh, mainly it may also cause addiction to the patients overdose causing poisoning that is uh, overdose of morphine is, may sometimes also caused uh, coma or uh, may produce respiratory depression to patients causes dryness of mouth mental clouding here mental clouding means a condition in which a person is slightly less wakeful or aware the normal condition in this condition a uh, patient must be aware from their condition or may not be normal in normal conditions it may also caused uh, it may cause vomiting headache fatigue and constipation etc methadone next drug is methadone methadone is synthetic and orally effective opioid that is approximately equal in the potency to morphine but induce less euphoria and has somewhat longer duration of action uh, methadone has uh, has given orally and equal put and has equal potency than that of morphine and longer it may have also longer duration of its action methadone is readily absorbed following orally administration the drug is biotransformed in the liver and excreted out through urine mainly inactivate metro inactivate metabolites and its adverse effect is methadone can produce physical dependence like that of morphine uh, uh, methadone's effect are as similar as that of somehow in morphine 
antagonist. These drugs produce very little effect when given on their own, but block the effect of opiates. The most important example of antagonists are generally uh, naloxone and naltrexone. So naloxone, uh, naloxone was the first pure opioid antagonist with affinity for all three receptors. The main clinical of naloxone are to treat respiratory depression. Naloxone is generally used uh, for, the uh, for the treatment of respiratory depression caused by the various opiate and, the, uh, and their doses form. It is usually given intravenously and its effects are produced immediately. It is uh, rapidly metabolized by the liver and it is if, uh, effect lasts only for 2 to 4 hours in the body which is very shorter than uh, shorter period than that of morphine like drugs. Naloxone uh, should be uh, present in our body for at least 2 to 4 hours that is actually very shorter time of duration than that of morphine. Naloxone has an, no important unwanted effect of its own but precipitate withdrawal symptoms in addicts. It can be used to detect opiate detect addiction. Uh, nalox, uh, there is no some unwanted effect of naloxone but uh, some, uh, somehow the symptoms is, should be very clear that uh, it is generally used to, to detect for the opiate addiction. Patient who, uh, who are suffering from addiction by giving naloxone we can found that they have an opiate addiction. Naltrexone. Naltrexone is very similar to naloxone but with the advantage of much longer duration of action. Uh, as similar that as naloxone we have to uh, the effect is 2 to 4 hours in body in naloxone and in naltrexone we have uh, half life of naltrexone is about 10 hours. It may be a value of addicts who have been detoxified but because it is nullifies the effect dose of opiate should be patient resolve fail. Uh, it, uh, it is its use in the other condition such as alcoholism and septic shock is being investigated through naltrexone. A specific antagonist at alpha, beta and uh, K receptor that is potassium receptors are available for the experimental use but not for the clinical purpose. Mostly it is not uh, used for uh, clinical purpose but it may sometimes used for specific antagonist that is alpha, beta and potassium receptors. Its dose is half life is about 10, uh, 10 hours in our body. These are the certain drugs used and their adverse effect. So first drug is morphine. Morphine is uh, widely used for acute and chronic pain. The use of uh, the use of morphine is widely used for acute and chronic pain. It is and their effect uh, their adverse effect is sedation respiratory depression next drug is methadone it's uh, uses it is generally used in chronic pain maintenance of addicts who are generally addict from uh, these uh, drugs narcotics may be used uh, by the detection uh, of methadone as morphine but its effect is uh, adverse affected as morphine but little euphoric effect shows codeine that is used in mild pain mainly and its adverse effect is mainly constipation no dependence liability phenantyl that is used in acute pain or it may also used as an anesthesia adverse effect is it shows effect as like morphine that is sedation uh, respiratory depression trinidazole trinidazole that is uh, used as acute and chronic pain its uh, effect is uh, uh, its adverse effect is uh, dizziness Penta jocane, it is uh, used as mainly acute pain and adverse effect is irritation at the injection site. It may be generally given through IV or IM route. So it shows irritation at the site of injection. Detoxy, uh, propoxyphen that is used as mild pain and its adverse effect is respiratory depression and may cause convulsions. Non-narcotic analgesic. So in non-narcotic analgesic we have uh, four drugs that is NSIDS, acetaminophen that is also called as PCM, ziconotide, fluprintin. Uh, NSIDS are uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen uh, are mostly popular and safer 
alternate to aspirin uh, we can also say that is a is an uh, alternative of aspirin and and uh, aspirin shows an antipyretic and or analgesic activity so in place of aspirin we can give to patient to acetaminophen because it is uh, while it is used in analgesic or it is used while throw antipyretic drug uh, it is domestic analgesic used in both uh, adults and children it may be given to both it is over the counter drug rapidly absorbed mostly metabolized by the conjunction and excreted by kidney very less adverse effect in the therapeutic dose acetaminophen uh, we can say that is it is most uh, popular drug in our country it is safe and alternate to aspirin widely given to patient as antipyretic and analgesic activity it shows analgesic activities domestic analgesia it is uh, given to both that is uh, in we can give to adults also we can give to children also it is an over counter drug or rapidly absorbed and mostly metabolized by the conjunction and excreted out our body through kidney it has very less adverse effect which is very main point that it is has very less adverse effect in their th in their therapeutic dose mechanism of action of uh, acetaminophen paracetamol has no significant action of cox1 and cox2 which left its mode of action a mystery but did explain its lack of anti inflammatory action and also most important is its freedom from gastrointestinal sites effect that is uh, that is a type of nsids that is non steroidal anti inflammatory drug uh, in now in new uh, recent researches research has shown the presence of new previously known unknown cyclooxygenase enzyme that is a uh, uh, cox 3 uh, found in the brain and the spinal cord which is selectively inhibited by paracetamol and is distinct from two already known cyclooxygenase enzyme so uh, cy uh, cyclooxygenase enzyme that is uh, uh, cox1 and cox2 are known and may shows uh, significant action uh, and the new researcher has shown that there is an another enzyme which is known as cox3 which is found in the spinal brain uh, spinal cord and the brain which inhibit the action of paracetamol from this cox1 and cox2 enzymes uses uh, useful uh, useful in the mild moderate pain like headache pyrexia myalgia etc in case of patients allergic to aspirin it is also given to the patient for those who are who are allergic to aspirin that is aminophen amino acid aminophen was given to the patient who are generally allergic to aspirin patient with hemophilia patient with pud that is a peptic ulcer disease patient who are taking other uric uh, uricorsic drugs that is salicylate com competes with uric acid in the tubular secretion next drug is ziconotide ziconotide is a non narcotic pain reliever that is used to treat severe chronic pain in people who cannot use or do not respond to standard pain relieving medication so uh, ziconotide is a non narcotic uh, non narcotic pain reliever drug it is uh, somehow used to treat uh, chronic pain for those who does not respond to the standard pain or uh, their relieving uh, medications so the mechanism of ziconotide is um, ziconotide act as an selective n type voltage gated calcium channel blocker this action inhibit the result uh, the release of non non receptive uh, neurochemical like glutamate and substance p in the brain and the spinal cord resulting the pain relief so we can uh, so through so through this uh, mechanism we can understand that uh, it may be a calcium channel blocker through n type voltage gated and inhibit the release of neurochemical like glutamate and thus it results resulting the pain reliever or may also called as this may result the in the pain relief thank you everyone for my this is my views on narcotic and non narcotic analgesic thank you